Now still in commemoration of the International Women's Day, TVC News spoke with some women entrepreneurs on the impact of uh, insecurity on their businesses in Nigeria. Our correspondent, Shalomi Bamiye, has more details in this report. Agriculture may seem like a male-dominated industry from the outside, but it is women who practice agriculture more, especially rural women, and by a wide margin. Nigerian women make up about 70% of the country's agricultural workforce and also contribute to 70% of the country's food production. They grow food for their immediate families and sell off excess harvest to cater for their children's school fees and support their families. Access to farmland has been a major challenge as some communities do not permit women to own land. While the limited access to land has not been resolved, Many women face an additional problem of insecurity today. I thank God for farming. Honestly, whoever engages in farming does not lack if you're focused on farming and getting fertilizer. Our challenge is getting fertilizer. Right now, it is difficult to get government support for fertilizer, and fertilizer has become very expensive. And sometimes, if you don't apply fertilizer, it affects the yield. There are so many areas where we need assistance. For instance, in the area of getting mango seedlings. See how fruitful the ones we planted are, and they're not even the improved seedlings yet. If you go further in, you will know Poi Poi Town is known for mango farming. Away from the farm, women with smallholder businesses battle the rising rate of inflation to stay in business. In the Diamakan Wajani, is a small entrepreneur who produces plantain chips in a small factory up on this mountain with no access roads. She shares a story of her struggles. Price of oil too high. To grow the business, if the price of the oil comes down for 25 liters now, who would they buy before? 6,000 naira. From 6,000 to 7,000 till 25,000 now. The price is not too high. So if you buy, even though you buy the plantain cheap, you fry and finish, you know, go get enough what you expect because of the oil. The story of women's resilience has not been fully told. They make significant contributions in strengthening production and entrepreneurship. Indeed, the plantain chips fryer said at various times she's been discouraged and felt like giving up on her business due to the rising cost of oil in the market. If she does, this will definitely affect her finances and not just hers, but that of those that she employs as well. Chenemibami, TVC News, Madala.